Okay, hello, hello. It's jump scare o'clock. I couldn't even say that properly. It's, it's Doodle's brain is at, um, not maximum output o'clock. Welcome back to <laughs> Stardew Valley running. Um, very, very briefly, we'll go over how this works again for people that uh, are new to this or have forgotten. Um, I can only take as many steps as is in the bank. Think of it as a debit card as opposed to a, a credit card. Um, I'm going to be adding steps in a minute, so I'll go through that more in a sec. Disclaimer, I am not doing this to lose weight. I am not doing this to get better at running. I am doing this to move more and have fun, and that's it. You're playing Stardew Valley on your most successful save so far. 300k gold. Oof. And Mari to, yeah, Mari to Maru, of course. Right. I actually watched the last day of the previous stream. Um whilst i was prepping dinner so like i actually am on track with what we're doing <laughs> i know it's surprising so first things first we need to add steps boop here we go so we are well i i went on a 1.67 kilometer run so that's 1920 steps that we are adding let me just do the whole and then I need to change the steps themselves. So our new total is going to be 44,410 steps. We can't go over that. Let's remove that now. There we go. Bank steps, steps bank, one of those. E either or, either is fine. Right. L -l look, look, look. We have, we have enough money for a coop. We have enough money for a big coop. And I'm very excited. Uh, I've also got loads of tat in my inventory. Um, now that I've added the steps, I can chill. Oh my goodness. I can apparently slam my mallet into the floor. Um, right. We have Ridgeside Wild Apples, which Pappy told me last time is Irene's favorite gift. So... We can make some progress with Irene. Um, we have money, so we can buy the upgraded coop and finally start getting chickies. Um, what else is going on here? <laughs> progress, people, progress. It's exciting stuff, but also, oh my goodness gracious me, being efficient is difficult for me. Have you had a chance to do 1.6 yet? No, I haven't. Also, hi, Charlie. I haven't said hi to people yet. Hi, Charlie. Hey, Jay. Hey, Martian. Hey, Arrow. Have I missed anybody yet? Doesn't look like, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to play 1.6 yet. Um, I was mostly concerned about being able to make sure that this save works because this save is on 1.5, right? But um, <laughs> it's fine. It's all working. I haven't actually tested it properly. So it still has the potential to not work. Isn't that exciting and fun? Let's go out and see Limpy. Let's, let's get this all started. Hello! It's been a while. I haven't streamed in a bit. There we go. You can have some water too. You can come with me in a bit, but for now you, you may sleep. Let's sell these. Oh goodness gracious me. It's gonna take a while for me to remember how to how to controls. I ain't gonna spoil spoiler you and tell you which items to hoard. <laughs> this is not 1.6, this is 1.5. Uh, I think a lot of my mods would be broken if I was playing on 1.6 right now. Um, I sort of, I went on Steam and I tried to revert it to a previous save. I don't know how well that's worked, we'll, we'll find out. But so far there's no red text on the Stardew Valley console, like I'm scrolling up. Sorry, the Smappy console I should say. No red text showed up so I think we're in the clear and if not, I've tried my best. Goodness me. I've never heard this, the, the word chook either. <laughs> you have a huge amount of strawberries in the greenhouse. Your relationship with Maru will never decay. That is one of the good things about having growable giftables. But um, I don't really know what Irene likes other than the apples. That was That was a pappy save last time. Has the stream just crashed or are we still good and, and golden? Could be fine. 
From what I remember, you're from the US. I've never heard it over here. Nope. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at the very least, uh, me, Jay, and Martian are all UK. <laughs> You, uh, Concerned Ape has left 1.5.5. I think I'm on 1.5.6. At least I, I went into like the um the beta rollback thing in Steam. You can access it under the properties tab if you right click on your game. Stream hasn't crashed for you? Wonderful. In that case, we're ahead of schedule chat. We're ahead of schedule. Oh, I was about to say we've watered all the plants. I haven't watered all the plants. Um stone i vaguely remember we were on the search for stone so that we could upgrade the coop let me have a look that's going to be one of the main hurdles for us oh you know what we might be able to go and and start this business right now start the coop building right now um right tree tappers I remember from, from the previous stream, tree tappers are needed to make kegs, to make coffee, to take more steps. <laughs> You're coming with- Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, Limpy seems unbothered about the giant mallet she just took to the head. So we'll continue like nothing happened. Um, yes, I need tree tappers because we need oak resin because we need kegs so I can have coffee because I mentioned this in a previous stream, but I know a lot of people don't watch every single stream. They just turn up for the ones they can. Uh, not doing minecarts. Not doing minecarts in this series. It kind of goes against... It was a suggestion from one of my moderators, Vice. And... Is it Thursday she's closed? I thought it was Tuesday. Or is it like a special day? Is there some kind of event going on? 18th of summer. Hmm... I always thought it was Tuesdays that she's closed. <laughs> and now I'm very afraid. Oop. New doggos. I haven't seen very much for 1.6 yet. I'm the worst. That's not the right thing. Goodness me. Oh, click on the calendar. There we go. Oh, it's Kenneth's birthday. So we might have to go find Kenneth and give him some re refreshing water. In fact, he might even... Oh, they don't show where people are here. Kenneth is is an electrician, so he's usually fixing lights. But I don't know anything else about him, like what he does in his free time. There's a dog hidden behind that tree. Look. Can you see his little doggy? <laughs> I don't have any treats for you, puppy. Um, you can give me spoilers, but um. It will be the first time I'm hearing about most of the information, is what I will say. It's not like I've been trying to save it for myself. I just have been so wrapped up in life stuff that I haven't had time. <laughs> I haven't had time to look at it. Hi, Ian. Here we go. Have some water. No problems at all. Abigail helped you move some boxes. Her purple hair looks really good on her. Oh, hey. Don't tell her I said that. I see how it is. Sometimes the words that are unspoken hurt more than the words that were spoken. <laughs> Abigail's purple hair looks good on her. <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, still no Robin. So yes, no no Robin on Thursdays. Weird. Was it always like this? Let's go to the mines and break some rocks. Because at some point, I do want to switch the pathways for stone pathways. still can't believe what I said on Discord. Well, it's done now. Essentially, to catch people up, I had an interview at a pub. I've been applying for jobs for four months. So I had an interview at a pub. It went like really well. They offered me a trial shift. I did the trial shift. And in, in the four hour span between me starting the trial shift and me going home, I managed to find what? 10 red flags, 12 red flags. Like, like really red. Like my eyes are my eyes are on fire. This is very red. <laughs> um, but I I talked to Ev and his mum about it, and then obviously my parents as well. And I also I I, I ask people in the Discord everything. If if you want me to ask you life related questions, uh, join the Discord. Links in the description. <laughs> Not a very good selling point, is it? 
but um yeah i've ended up turning them down um which was one of the most terrifying things ever because i do need the money <laughs> i just need a job at the moment but it was like it was just also very unfair it's just everything about the job was a red flag i'll just leave it at that i don't want to go too much into it but if you're interested it, it, it's in life sucks in in my discord <laughs> deary me what else what else i need a way down i was collecting rocks only i wasn't collecting rocks because already i've gotten distracted and have collected 18 iron <laughs> So we're going to go back up to the surface and then go back down and get rocks. When does Robin go back through? Does anybody in the chat know? Because Robin goes back home at some point. And when she walks by the counter, I could maybe sneak a little sneaky chicken coop upgrade off of that. <laughs> a little sneaky, sneaky chicken coop upgrade. That would be nice. I just... I just don't want to buy loads of chickens. It's such a waste of money when eggs hatch so fast. Five-ish. Okay, so what? I should go back now. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Collecting uh, quartz. Like a crazy person. Okay. Let's go and see. I don't know whether I also need to buy stone off of her, so it's going to be risky. <sighs> Do I have enough time? Come on. We'll just wait in there. We'll wait in there for her. It's 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 worth doing. Getting an extra day on the coop upgradeness would be good. Oh, there's Abigail. I just saw Abigail over to the uh to the right. The one who looks good with purple hair. Right. <laughs> Let's stand here and wait. I have to click, don't I, when she goes past. Goodbye, wife, goodbye, tiny son. I'm gonna go in the skull cabins. Oh no. I, uh, it's it's the serpents, right? I hate the serpents. <laughs> the serpents and skull caverns are the worst. Hey Robin, come hither. <laughs> I would like me a coop, dearest Robin. Would be greatly appreciated. I'll just slowly shuffle around. Oh. No. No, 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 no. You're not. Yes, yes, I did stop her. Okay, okay. Construct farm buildings. Uh, Where's the big coop? Slime hutch, big coop. I need 400 wood. Right, can I get out of this and click on the shop again? Yes. Okay, I think we're good. 400 wood though. Do I actually have enough money for this? Obviously I don't need to buy 400 wood. How much do I actually need? 300 and that much. I'm almost positive. And then I go back out and we go back in and we construct farm buildings and we go this way to the coop. Yes! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Oh, I'm so sorry to catch you on your day off, but um, upgrade my chicky coop, please. Thank you, thank you. It probably won't be a super long stream today. Um, I believe I accidentally am streaming at the same time as Leap a lot. <laughs> probably shouldn't be announcing that. Limpy? Limpy? You were chasing a rabbit. Is that what that entire racket was about? My goodness, girl, you were loud. Um, yeah, so it's just going to be a little, a little chill one. I wanted to stream this week. Originally, I didn't want to stream this week. I was like, no, I'm going to give myself a break. Been dealing with a lot. And then I enjoy it, you know. <laughs> I enjoy streaming. So as soon as I was like, no, actually, I can't handle it. Then I changed my mind and wanted to do it. Okay. I should probably make this chicken area then, huh? Um... <laughs> did i make any fences i don't believe i did and i'm gonna need more wood for fences sadly i don't have my axe on me do i no <laughs> leave a lot is streaming okay bye 
I wouldn't blame you. It's it just depends on whether you're interested in 1.6 stuff or or whether you want to stick around for modded. Really, I'd say is the the main difference. Uh, should I kill this thing? Get out my face, bat! I'm not gonna even step time. I know. There we go. I keep forgetting that the monsters spawn spawn on this farm. Um. Limpy, I need you to move. Thank you. Right in the way. <laughs> Tis not good. Right, there we go. I want another gate here, I think. Uh, actually, slightly further down. Why can't I place anything here? What is going on? I know I'm just kind of ignoring that bat. Oh, this is so annoying. Should I just cut down all the grass? This is impossible. <laughs> How am I supposed to work under these conditions? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm just, I just want to make a chicken coop. A chicken pen even for the chickens. <sighs> okay, now I can make my chicken pen until more bats turn up. I didn't, right, when I, when I was making this mod pack and I was like, oh yeah, I want monsters to spawn on the farms and stuff. Not that that's part of the mod pack. It's just a vanilla thing. But I was like, yeah, I want monsters to spawn on the farms. I wasn't anticipating them just being an inconvenience. I thought it was going to be more of like a intense, dangerous situations kind of a thing. But no, apparently not. It's it's more just annoying. <laughs> no, Limpy, I'm going to lose my mind at you. Come here, come here, come here. Come hither. You can lie down right there. There we go. Good puppo. Nice and out of the way, you know? Nice and out of the way and not stopping me from placing walls. <laughs> right, where can I place it there? Wonderful. So now we've got one gateway here. Eh. One gateway here. And one gateway up here. It's a very large chicken area, but um, we're going to have a lot of chickens. Get away from me now. Wonderful. Hey, at least we're going to have plenty of bat wings. You'll stay here. Prefer more chill, to be honest. <laughs> Tonight, anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I mean, I can't guarantee all my streams are going to be chill anyway, so that's a good way of doing it. Right, let's put everything in random chests like usual. Including some rings and some stone and one piece of wood. <laughs> um, I shouldn't need to add more steps tomorrow, so. Oh, there I did! I made 65 stone fences anyway! You guys need to remind me not to make more stone fences. Um, when I'm building the area for animals. <laughs> I can't even remember. I know for a fact that I've downloaded... Oh, that's very glitchy. I know for a fact that I've downloaded a mod that changes how animals look. Wait, what has happened? I can't see that game. <laughs> that's not fair. Also, there's a hole in the fence here. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what the animals are going to look like. Why did I break this? Why? It's so broken. Let's get two of those stone walls. We are starting off with a very scuffed Stardew Valley day. Surely they're not broken because of 1.6. No. No. My my setting up of this stream was impeccable. And I won't hear anyone say otherwise. Not even myself. There we go. That's fixing everything. <laughs> you can kind of see the gates now. Woo. There we go. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Well, actually, it's kind of pretty anyway. Right, now we can go to bed and sleep, knowing that we've actually done something today, other than bash rocks and wait for Robin. Oh, we got some more money too. So what I could do now is buy a chicken. If my game wants to load, are you good? Are you good? 
don't know what that was about. Usually Princess freaks out when it's going to be raining soon, but there was no rain there, so I don't really know what happened. Oh, I never gifted Kenneth anything on his birthday. Speaking of, how are we doing? We're doing good on the hearts, better than I thought. Where is Kenneth? Oh, you could have done with a two heart boost, couldn't you? You are dateable. That's interesting. I didn't even realise that you were. I... One thing I really do like about the rich side characters, and I will say this. The marriageable characters, not all of them, but a substantial amount of the marriageable characters actually look like they're the age where they should be getting... Well, not should be. Where they can get married because i know a lot of you have said before like oh i really like abigail or this that and the other abigail abigail to me and i could be wrong i don't know what her canon age is she seems like an 18 year old and that weirds me out <laughs> so i like the fact that some of the rich side characters the marriageable ones they're kind of more do you know what i mean when i say harvey's generation as opposed to Abigail's generation. Would Harvey and Abigail be in the same generation? Hmm. Multiple debatable topics coming up here. Um, I'm going to sell the rest of these blueberries because I think it's going to take about 53 years for these fourth jars to um, turn all that into jam. So we'll just put them straight in here. Bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep. Wonderful. By the way, I have been scripting the first Stardew Valley running video. I am currently up to 3,500 words. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be just over half an hour long. And it's only the first 20 kilometers. Um, so for reference, three like it's going to be half an hour long. And I've currently edited the footage. Well, I say edited the footage. Scripted up until about the end of the second stream. And we're now on what? Stream 7? So, but I have crammed quite a bit of stuff in. You know, I'm, I've condensed essentially 60, no, sorry, six hours of unedited footage into 30 minutes of highly edited, highly scripted uh, goodness. So I'm hoping it'll be, it'll be entertaining. I suppose it depends what you like, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. Hmm. Did it say that we had given out gifts? Yes, but not too many. We'll have to go on another gift giving thing because it's Friday and it resets on Saturday, right? Well, Saturday evening. Little water drinking break. I do like my water. Is Robin working on the coop? Oh no no no! She um, she works from the inside with animals, doesn't she? I was getting it mixed up with other projects. Right, I can't remember how much a chicken is, but we're gonna go buy one. And uh, I want chicken names in the chat. <laughs> um, I would ideally like the chicken names to be thematic in some way, so something to do with running, something to do with exercise, or with water like hydration but i mean really we'll go for anything <laughs> purchase animals oh, they're a lot cheaper than i thought i still think it's worth waiting worth waiting though for the upgraded coop but we're gonna need eggs so name suggestions what are we calling our chicky do <laughs> and we could technically oh hang on we could technically just call it Chicky Do, but um, I'll wait and see what you suggest. What do you suggest? What will it be? Cloppy. <laughs> cool one, Bexley. Have you got a chicken called Bexley too? I like Cloppy and Bexley. Neither of them are like thematic. Let's do let's do a poll between the two. <laughs> Cloppy and Bex. 
nicely there we go just a little a simple two choicer and if you draw the vote then i'll just flip a coin i guess do i even have a coin i have a lip balm container does that count it, i don't think it's quite as um as fair do you <laughs> Okay, I think I think that's a win for Cloppy. Understood. Bexley was your first ever chicken. That's pretty cool. I can't remember my first ever chicken in this game. Cloppy. <laughs> Arrow. There will be plenty more chickens where that came from. Well, not exactly where that came from. There, there'll be plenty more chickens from Cloppy. <laughs> I do I want to give you water for the shorts for the shorts I'm not going to talk to you though that would require too much effort and time spent on a vanilla character Ugh. disgusting absolutely disgusting now we go see our chicken oh the first on this save file uh, understood on your current save file I should say there's a tree there not anymore. Okay. Yee! Hello, little chicken. I probably should have bought you a while ago because now it's going to take you a while to grow up. But maybe I can buy an egg from somewhere. Um, there's no real need for me to try and save this much money. However, I just remembered the traveling cart is here today. So let's go and do that. I have some money. I need a chicken egg. Let's, let's, let's go see Suki. Hey, Suki. There's horses everywhere today. You could do how animals run, so Cloppy is a horse, Slither, Trot, etc. Could be other names. I really like that. Also, do I have a sword on me? No. This will have to do. Hello! Didn't speak to you properly. Do you have an egg? An egg. An egg, -le egg, -le egg, -le egg, -le egg. No, you don't. You do, however, have a second rare seed. Now, I could buy a second rare seed. I could also buy a hops. <laughs> I don't think it's called a hops. Because we need a brewer's bundle. And buying one singular hop would mean that I don't have to get something else, I think. What's it used for? Is it used for the pale ale? Or is it just used for beer, in which case it'll be useless to me? Hmm. The horse will have to be gallop. <laughs> I love it. Well, you got nothing I want, Suki. Sorry, I was I was here for an egg. I know that's weird, but um, it is what it is. Right, back home we. Right, that was a chicken. Pale ale, yup. Okay, I'm going back and I'm buying that hop because I. I know I could just grow a hop of my own. Why would I? <laughs> Why would I when I have convenience? I know I'm thirsty and I'm hungry and I'm wasting loads of steps by running around like a... I need to keep an eye on that, actually. Boop. Where's the hop gone? Was it right at the top? Hop at the top. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs> that was an oxymoron. Uh, eat that. It's egg where it egg. Yeah. It would be cheaper to grow, I know, but... Am I going to remember to do that? No. And I can see it happening where we literally, we get to like next summer in game and I'm like, oh, we need to do the Brewers Bundle. And everyone's like, oh, you, you, you need to grow hops. And then it's the wrong season. And then it takes about 57 years. I do need to clear the bottom of this area soon. But yeah, I'm giving it a pass. I'm giving it, I'm giving it a pass. <laughs> um, Limpy. What should I do, Limpy? You're just chilling looking at the, the shipping box. Um, wood. I need wood to make taps. What else is used to make taps? Copper bar. Uh, how much wood do I have? I have none, I have none. Literally, I have one. In that case, boop. We're going on an adventure. A tree chopping adventure. Uh, I can make snack bars, but not many. 
Right, so I'm probably going to use the trees uh, by the bus stop. Not to chop down, but like, I need oak resin, right? I could just plant my own, but when have I ever? When have I ever planted my own trees? <laughs> Actually, is this an oak tree or is this a maple tree? I can never tell the difference. I'm going to have to look it up. Obviously, before I put the tackers on the trees. But for now, I know for a fact that these are pine trees. So they're going. They're gone. They're entering my wood storage. I should upgrade my axe. I should also upgrade my pickaxe. I should upgrade everything. Everyone always tells me every single series... That's a turkey. No, it's not. It's a rooster. Um, every single series I do, everyone's always like, why didn't you upgrade your everything earlier? And um, I forget that you can do it. <laughs> I prioritize building other things. And I forget just how much time saving upgrading your weapons does. Weapons. Tools. There we go. Need little foxes. I've chopped down a lot of your forest, huh? Struggling to find any. <laughs> I need trees that I haven't destroyed. Iridium. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten iridium everything. I think I think in Stardew Valley as a rit as a witch. <laughs> as a rich. <laughs> Stardew Valley as a rich. I did end up being pretty well off. Um unless unless that means Stardew Valley as a Richard, in which case that's I wasn't called Richard by the end of that series. No, Stardew Valley as a witch. I think I upgraded everything to iridium, but I don't think I did the watering can or the bin the trash can whatever you want to call it so when i just said uh, i upgraded everything what i actually meant is i didn't do that <laughs> but we can try in this series if i make enough money now that i've learned that you're supposed to sell tea saplings instead of plant them and harvest the tea i'm learning new stuff all the time chat that should be enough Oh, no, 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 it's 40 wood. It's 40 wood per tree tapper. Stardew does have a rich. It's us and a witch. <laughs> I'm confused, but fair enough. Um, There's no more trees over here, is there? No. Let's go to rich side. I'll chop more trees another time. And I need to stick some tree tappers on some trees. Which one is it that's the oak tree? I'm I'm so sure it's this one, but I think... Oh, I, it's 50-50. I'll look it up in just a second. I'll make the tree tappers. We'll go up to Ridgeside. Oh, hey, Limpy. You came out of nowhere. It was a little bit spooky. Around here. With that recolor, maple trees are the lighter green. Oak have branches in the middle. Okay, I'll go have a look in just a second. Because <laughs> without actively looking at them, I can't tell which one you you mean right how many can we make only two i thought it'd be three but my mental maths was uh wrong okay better than nothing let's go limpy woo actually you can't you can't come up to bridge side with me but that's fine um oak have branches in the middle like this you've never used a recolor before Maple trees are the lighter green. So this one, right? Oak have branches in the middle. This one? The lower tree. The opposite of the one I thought. I thought this is a lighter green. Oh, maybe that is. I'd have to colour pick. Okay, weird. But um, these trees, the oak trees. Got it, got it. One there. Are there any other oak trees around here? Yes one here oh can i not place it there that's so sad okay i'll find another oak tree possibly on my farm <laughs> but for now i need to give out gifts before everybody leaves because oh you know what this is a really good area i might move that one that's in the lower area up to here Oh, no, 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 there's no point. There's no other oak trees. Oh, there is. There's one hidden behind there. Anyway, this might be my oak tree growing area. Let's just say that. But I need to go. 
With your mod that adds sunset lighting, it makes it hard to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that being said, it does mean that it's lighter for longer because it's summer. Um, I love it though. Trini! Eh! Fleur! No! Fleur! Come back, Fleur! You're not allowed to leave. There we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then you need something. I'll obviously talk to people when I can as well, but I need to give out gifts. So now I can talk to you. Ian's been lending a hand around here. He does a good... Wait, Ian seems to be everywhere because I swear he also works for Robin. I really like it here. How about you? Do you like it here? As in Ridgeside or as in the hotel? Because both. <laughs> right. Pika, I'm coming. Don't let your customers leave. Wait, is no... Have they already left? Surely not. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. There's just... Okay. It's fine. Pika's just not here and my PC is freaking out. Water for everyone. <laughs> Water for you! Water for you! Wait, have I even... Uh, hang on. You're Alyssa's dad, maybe? Some people came back in a cutscene and I can't quite remember. Woo! Nope. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I am starving to death. I only just realised. Uh, let me just eat this. Went to see Ghostbusters last night. Worth it. Oh, it's good, is it? It's not very often movies like that are good. <laughs> I just gave you a flower by accident. Well, you're welcome. Now we talk to people. He's a general handyman. He works with different people. Uh, got it, got it. Yeah, that is Alyssa's dad. Sweet, I know who you are. Ah, oh, doodle, I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to pretend it was intentional. Lewis has a reputation to keep up. Wait. But I have no... Wait, what's Lewis's reputation he's got to keep up? You can be relaxed around me. Why does... What? I'm going to be honest. Whatever Lewis's reputation is, it's not a good one. So I wouldn't worry about that, Lenny. Hello, uh, lads. You can have whatever. You can have these. Nope, don't drink it. There we go. Hydration nation. You look like you could use a break. Who am I to say that? I can't remember the last time I just sat and breathed. I suppose you're not sitting right now, so that's fair. You know why that bridge by the water centre is so short? Because it's abridged. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> Reputation as a stuffy mayor. Yeah. Poor Lewis. I wish I could say some good things about Lewis struggling to think of any <laughs> uh, I don't know what afterlife is it's written and produced by some that did the first two and whatever afterlife is that is fine though we've given out some gifts we're heading home I'm checking my steps we shouldn't be over let's zoom out very slightly so I can see a bit better. This has been a productive first couple of days of the stream. And we've been streaming for 40 minutes. If you're watching and you haven't given the stream a lick yet, please do. It helps so much. It's very appreciated. I see a mushroom. Uh, by the way, one thing I have realized from watching back these streams and scripting everything is that the amount of stuff I miss, whether it be berry bushes, forage on the floor, people that I'm looking for to give water to, I, I miss so much. So I'm very sorry if watching these uh, streams you find yourself um, angrily shouting and gesticulating wildly at the screen because I've missed something, but um, kind of how I do things. <laughs> Cute little possums. Oh, if, I miss, if I miss forage, just imagine that it's food for the wildlife or some ridgeside village kid just comes through and grabs them oh i'm like about to die eat the mushroom wow i'm bad at keeping an eye on my food <laughs> we need to sort our food problem this is partly why i wanted to get the chickens but that also in order to get food from the chickens i have to upgrade my house oh people um boop it is generous of me, isn't it? It's called water. I admire Leah's attitude. She specialises in abstractions, but there's a certain class to her work. Um, 
you hang out with Leah. Okay, okay. I saw somebody walk up here, but they're gone now. And I'm wasting steps, so time to go home. Oh, it's like midnight. <laughs> Deary me. Is it permadeath? Uh, no. I don't know if you missed the very end of the last stream. Um, I had to let myself die. <laughs> we ran out of steps when I was up by Robins by the lake. So I just had to fish for the whole day and then let myself pass out because I wasn't allowed to move from the spot. <laughs> so, oh, I'd like to sell these actually. See you in a sec, Papples. Maybe I shouldn't call you Papples. Pappy. <laughs> Didn't clear that with you first. Uh, okay, right. I've sold those. There was no apples. So we should be fine. However, I would like these to go back in here too. There we go. You passed out, not die. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure with the food mod, when your energy reaches zero, it then takes your health out. So you do have a bit more time. You have time to handle it. Ooh. Oh, I forgot I sold crops as well. These flowers sell for quite a bit. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, Mortis. <laughs> Lexi would be so happy. Yeah, it really has caught on, hasn't it? Also, I love the fact that every single time... So, like, I did a Phasmophobia video recently. I probably should have linked it in this stream in case people were interested. But, I mean bit of an unrelated stream to link it in um i need to add steps don't i let me pause very briefly whilst i say this lexi in every single video game in which like the characters can die will go through and timestamp every incident of mortis and i love the fact that youtube is like do you want us to translate the word mortis for you <laughs> like, no it's okay because the entire comment that lexi leaves is literally just timestamps and the word mortis I love it. It's so good. Right. Adding steps. Step, 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 step. We've got to add the steps now. Boop. Okay. This time, I ran 2.3 kilometers. Um, you can tell exactly what happened there. I ran 2 kilometers and it took me 30 meters to stop my phone. Um, so that's... <laughs> 2,383 steps getting added to the balance. So... <laughs> oh no, I flipped it. I need to do it again. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse every single time I do it. Right, that, that brings our new total to 46,793. Uh, they ask if I want to translate the word mortis, which is literally just death in latin so uh no 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 thank you youtube you don't need to translate that for me but you know it's a nice offer anyway we <laughs> we now have plenty more steps that we can use today which is beautiful and wonderful uh i've put a couple of tree tappers up i wouldn't mind a few more though um i would like to go and clear out some land but to do that, I need snackies. Where can I get some nice, cheap snackies? Mushroom cave. Mushroom cave. <laughs> yeah, translate to English, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, melon. Don't know if I'll actually give that to you, Robin. Thank you for purchasing a coop upgrade in a distant... Wait, hang on. Oh, the incubator. You're just letting me know I've got an incubator. I know, that's why I upgraded it. Right, let's get some snackies first, because mushrooms are part of my automated system. That's right, so I can just come in here and, and get snackies whenever I want. Obviously, my favourite food is still eating fish raw, uh, straight from the ocean, nice and fresh, still got life in them, uh, like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. Um, but I will take mushrooms if, if they're not around. This is why we need kegs, look. Look at all the delicious coffee. Think of how many steps I could use up with all this delicious coffee. Makes me very excited. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to sell the high quality ones. And I know that's going to make people cringe, but um, I need money. <laughs> I also need to water my crops. I do not have my watering can on me. 
So let's get that. We'll water our crops and then decide what we're going to do today. I would like, like I said, to clear the area of land that's by the cable car that goes up to Ridgeside. Um, and then turn that into like my oak tree tapper area. I should eat something right now. I'm going to die. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be my tree tapper area. And that excites me. I am the kind of person that usually tries to like... I try and cram everything into my farm just because I like it all being localized and in one place. But obviously a lot of Stardew Valley content creators are like, that's super inefficient. And the only thing that you should be using your farm for is stuff like raising animals and growing crops and yada yada. Um, and you should actually be putting all of your kegs and tree tapper farms and everything else um, off site on someone else's land, essentially. <laughs> So we're going to try it, but I want to stick to areas that are still kind of near my house. So I was thinking like the pathway up here, uh, the pathway that sort of goes to where Robin's house is, could be our keg area. <laughs> and the area by the cable car is going to be our tree tapper area. And I might also put preserve jars there. It dep depends on how many tree tappers I need and how many different types of tree I need. Uh, stuff like that. Because this map is not that big like it's not tiny but it's one of the smaller maps that i've used in terms of long-term series um i'd say it's definitely smaller than the dragon one the stardew valley dragons and that was a pretty small map oh we're nearly done nearly done watering oh i've already watered the roses wonderful where's my lovely chicky you need to come outside you need to see the air and smell the roses and listen to me eating mushrooms and cave carrots come on out little chicky maybe i should go in and wake him up you in here hello come on there's nice food outside you know you want to so i do need eggs still but i could just buy more oh there we go he's outside he's so cute um do I want to just buy another chicken? Let's, let's just... It's, I know it's money. But let's just buy one more chicken. Just one more chicken. Just one more chicken. And and then I'll go and check Suki's wagon uh, tomorrow. Just, oh, just house chicken. Uh, I'll check Suki's wagon tomorrow to see if she's got any eggs. Purchase animals. Oh, I can go straight away and buy a duck. Should I just go there buy a ducky? <laughs> Let me try saying that again. <laughs> Duck? Ducky? Duckle? I like ducks. Wonderful. What are we calling the duck? If we are... Right. Obviously, we call the previous one cloppers or cloppy. You should still have enough for an egg. Yeah, it'll be fine. I've got plenty plenty of moolah for now. Anyway, until I spend it all. Um, running, running sounds animal running sounds so we said like gallop could be one of them but i like the idea of the fact that ducks have little slappy feet <laughs> kazoo not to do with running but that's a very cute name okay kazoo is one of the possibilities does anybody else have any name suggestions because if not i am up for naming a duck that hello long time no see i might have just peeked my microphone we're naming a duck do you have any names for a duck <laughs> current name suggestions uh are kazoo which i really like um and the previous animal went by a naming convention uh, that is the sound of animals running i know it's extremely weird i will give it maybe five more seconds and then if not we're going for kazoo there will be more more ducks and chickens and such. Kazoo chicken, I don't think that would fit. Or are you saying you want kazoo to be a chicken and not a duck? Because I kind of prefer it for a duck. I'll leave this here for a couple seconds. I don't know if chat's delayed today. Nah, let's go for kazoo. Sorry in advance if you wanted it to be for a chicken. It's, it's for a duck now. There we go. Woo! Now I'm leaving. You didn't get water from me two days in a row. Oh, Yuki's a beautiful name. That means snow in Japanese, doesn't it? 
Okay. We'll name the next chicken Yuki and hopefully it'll be a white one. Hopefully it'll be a white a white chicky. There's Cloppy. Okay. Oh, you just left the 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 thing. Hello. You're so cute and little. Right. Suki's wagon doesn't turn up till tomorrow. So there's no point doing that yet. Let's go and clear the land by the Ridgeside Village thing. And I can give gifts to people as they walk past as well. So it's two birds, one stone. I need to chop down all the trees that aren't oak tree. Uh, uh, uh. Hi. So you're a princess turned prince, Sean. I think that's one way. I think that's one way to put it, Trini. Okay. I was about to say all the kids, and then I just remembered that Blair is not a kid. I, I keep lumping them in. Yeah, I guess so. A handsome prince too, right? This is a very cute conversation. Your head's full of air again. You already know about this, Blair. I think... I don't actually know anything about this. I think they're discussing the fact that Sean is trans. But I think they've tried to do it in like a as tasteful a way as possible. So it's not like... Oh no, they, they, they're they just straight up. Sean told me about him being a girl turned boy before when we were fishing at the ridge. I love this airhead hunk of a best friend, no matter what. Ah, uh, that kid cannot stay still. <laughs> I can just see him jumping around. Hey, come on, Blair. No fair, I don't know how to react to that. Sean, question. Right, okay. How did you know? Actually, was it weird at the start? Vincent, that's possibly one of the most tasteful questions that you've actually asked. I guess so. It's more like I felt that I was supposed to be someone else. You guys know what a cocoon is, right? Oh, I know that. A cocoon is a bird, right? A cocoon bird. Uh, by the way, I did look it up. It's Kayahi. I believe Pappy told me in the last stream that that kid's name is said Kayahi. And I looked it up and I'm probably still butchering it, but it's a lot closer to how I was, pre pre uh, was um, pronouncing it last time. I think you mean a cuckoo bird. A cocoon is a baby butterfly. Yeah, something like that. So it felt like I was stuck in a cocoon all that time when I was still girl Sean. Then when I finally figured out that I was actually boy Sean, I felt so free, like a caterpillar turned into a butterfly. That's so cool. You with Yuki for a white chicken or cow? Yes, absolutely. Hey, you doodle. I mean, cow means saving up for a barn, doesn't it? Oh, we're blocking the way. Actually, you're not. I was going to chop trees, like, either side of you. So I don't really need to get through. You're good. You guys can stay right there. Did you hear that, Doodle? Sean here is a butterfly. And a majestic one at that. Indeed. Nobody else I know can pull off sleeveless vest tops quite that well. Hey, now we have our questions out of the way. Can we play Castles and Dragons now? Yay, let's go. I'll be the queen. So Blair hangs out with the kids like a lot. I know that she doesn't actually help teach at the school, but I've, this is the second cutscene now out of only about four cutscenes that we've actually had in the game where Blair almost exclusively hangs out with the kids, which is interesting. It's nice seeing like their roles in the village and learning about them because obviously I've, I've known about the vanilla Stardew so long. You're so related to Sean's metaphor. It is a good metaphor. Duck is a kazoo chicken. Sorry, I just read higher up and I got very confused. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't read too far up the chat. Hey, we have no princess. Can I be the princess then? If you want to be, you can be whoever you want to be. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna say that. That would make him upset. Uh, awesome. <laughs> now I'll kidnap the princess. Rawr. Okay, and I'm gonna chop trees. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Let the tree chopping adventure begin. I do like the fact that we're starting to get cutscenes now. Um, I think we're still gonna like stumble into some by accident for like the rest of this series now. Duck is a waterproof chicken with a kazoo. A waterproof. <laughs> a chicken's right. This may be a really stupid question. A chicken's not waterproof. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a chicken swim, but I have seen them in the rain and they seem to be fine. Is this a mod or the update for Stardew Valley? I'm afraid this is all mods. 
Um, this is not Stardew 1.6. Actually, should I should I leave a little pinned thing? This is modded Stardew, not 1.6. There we go. Thank you, Af. I'll pin this now. <laughs> I want to avoid confusion. No, this is the Stardew Valley running series that I made. Um, and unfortunately, it was like I made it in January, not knowing when 1.6 was going to come out. And then it, you know, it's come out now. <laughs> You're lightheaded. Oh, no. What have you done, Arrow? Let me switch to live chat just in case I'm missing messages. There we go. Oh, Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, I missed your birthday. But yeah, there we go. I didn't miss giving you water this time. How are you? My little robot exploded and almost set my house on fire last night. Ian came down to help me as soon as he heard the bang. I owe him. Right, you seem very chill about that. <laughs> oh yeah, my house nearly blew up. This is like, right, so when... Hang on. I'm afraid I'm still very slightly getting over a cold. When me and Ev, Ev is my partner for those of you who don't know. First, oh no, that's an oak tree. I'm gonna scream. When me and Ev first got together, um, he'd come into university, which is where we met by the way. And I'd be like telling him about my day and, and, and being very over the top and energetic and stuff like that. And he'd be like, oh yeah, sorry I'm late today a pipe burst in our basement and it flooded like everything like the whole bottom of the house and it's like why are you here and every single time he came in it was a different story of the same severity i don't know what it is <laughs> about ev but he just kind of like it's not that he causes disaster but it likes him if that makes sense do you guys know what i mean <laughs> there are some people who are like that where they're absolutely lovely people. Nobody says anything like bad about them ever because there is nothing to say, but the universe... Wait, did I just die? I got too distracted talking about Ev. <laughs> Do you know what I just said about attracting disaster? That wasn't what I was talking about. When Ev attracts disaster, there's nothing that he's done to cause it whereas when i attract disaster it's because i've done something stupid like tripping over something it's it's through clumsiness and lack of attention span <laughs> look at the bright side we're saving so many steps people was <laughs> so i think that's the first time that's ever happened that's very embarrassing and we're back <laughs> you were writing it just as you passed out. I was in storytelling land. I even picked all of these mushrooms so that I could... Okay, it's fine. We're back. I'm awake. I'm going to eat food. It happens to you all the time. I just... I get so absorbed in my stories, you know? I'm sure it wasn't that much of a waste of a day. I'm sure it's fine everybody i'm sure it'd be okay i still need to chop down trees and stuff oh the melons are done i think last night a joji team member found you incapacitated i've been billed money for this service oh why why it's not fair why me and by it's not fair i mean that was completely my fault <laughs> Dearing me. Let's read some of your chat and uh, try not to zone out. Hang on. Oh my goodness, Nightbot is awake. Nightbot says lick the stream, everybody. Do you remember Nightbot? It's, it's that thing that I put in my streams to try and help me with moderating. You know? Wouldn't it be nice if they turned up all the time? <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm afraid I have never played Overwatch and you are probably far better at it than I could ever be. So I can't help you there, friend, but good luck. <laughs> Nightbox, it, night, <laughs> Nightbox, I nearly said. <laughs> Nightbot is awake. 
Whether that's a good or a bad thing is up to you lot. You can make that decision. <laughs> I'm not that impressed by Nightbot being awake an hour into the stream. Literally an hour into the stream. That's not impressive to me. Right, the chicky dudes will be fine. You know who won't be fine? Me, after passing out because I ran out of energy and I'm... Bleh. Okay. It's not an in-game thing, Doodle. Hang on, I was playing Overwatch mid-match as Junkrat. Respawned, realized I wasn't aware of anything that was happening. That's called dissociation, friend. That's the state that I permanently live in. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks, but you're fine. It will be okay. Sometimes zoning out is a sign that you are truly relaxed. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a sign. Yeah, but I zone out a lot when playing games. I'm going to be honest. The number one reason why i don't know if any of you that are in the chat right now have watched the phasmophobia video that i've released of me jazz and vice's first few phasmophobia games um i come across as not a nice person in that <laughs> and the reason is is because i'm like full autopilot mode i just turned my brain completely off and i am a chronic tryhard and i got way into the game but my friends understand because they're great Feels like I've just been hijacked. Feels floaty, but out of control. I don't like it. If it's freaking you out too much, one of the best things that you can do is try and ground yourself. So in, it sounds horrible, and I know I'm the worst person to be giving this advice, but if you leave the stream, stop looking at screens, that includes video games, put some music on so it's like in real life, um, and just focus on the things that are around you, like in whatever room that you're in, that can really help with dissociation. Um, I'm really bad for that, I'm gonna be honest. I combat dissociation with distraction, which is not the best way to combat it. <laughs> but um, there we go, that's, that's my ways for how to help. Um, and if your episodes of dissociation continue, for too long uh, you can also speak to a doctor about it you're gonna try and just sleep not been getting much of that lately that definitely won't be helping things <laughs> good good sleep and and all the things that humans need like exercise and regular food etc always the best place to start i know i sound like a right mum at this point I wouldn't always suggest going for a drive, Jay. I think it depends on how dissociated you are, but yes. <laughs> right. I've chopped those trees. I need more tree tappers. Two more, specifically. And now that I've got enough wood, it should be easy. Where on earth? Oh, copper bars. Here we go. Boop, boop. I think two will uh, two will do. Let me just chuck this on the floor for a for a sec. Let me keep one melon. No, two. Let me keep two melons and then I'll sell the rest because these. Oh, that's needed for the community center. Interesting. None of these needed for the community center. Wait, were blueberries needed for the community center? Wait, hang on. Spring crops bundle, fall crops bundle. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. I did the summer one. Okay. Everybody chill. Don't panic, she says, panicking. When you lived at your old house, you were in the house for six years. The park down the street was built in a dumb spot. Always flooded each summer and then the sprinklers broke in the winter. Oh no. After that in October, your dad fell down the stairs. Oof. Extra badness. That sounds like very difficult times right what am i doing this one that is an oak tree and this is an oak tree this area looks a lot nicer now i wish i could pick up those as well pick up the bottles
There's a reason why you're not in those two restricted channels on the cord, yes. And I, I very much appreciate you following the rules on that one. Okay, chickies and duckies. Are you outside? I genuinely have no way of checking. I don't want to go through the grass and try and find them. Okay, I'm running back and forth. I'm wasting steps and time. So I can sell things. I would like to make more preserve jars. Kegs is going to have to wait a bit. I think I need to level up anyway. Old stone wood. I would like more of them. Oh, the bee houses are so cute. Oh my goodness. Absolutely adorable. Right, let's sell some stuff, Limpy. Don't need these. Yes. Uh, and now let me go and look and see if there's... Um, anything else that's needed for the community centre. So obviously this is needed for the community centre. Let me also just get everything else in. Any of these needed for the community centre? I swear there was something else. Red mushroom. Okay. Red mushrooms needed for the community centre. What else? Come on, we're making community centre progress very, very, very slowly. Bug meat? No, slime. There's a monster one, is it? That's going to be in the boiler room. Adventurer's bundle. Ooh, okay. Ten bat wing we probably have. Absolutely, yes, we do. Um, and then it was like a solar essence or a void essence. Do I have any void essence yet? Probably not. It's probably too early in the game. So we could go for the slime one, but that requires 99. Right, let's go hand these in. What about moral? No? Common mushroom. Maybe we do a little bit of a little bit of going to the mines and collecting some stuff. Slime would be a good one. Goodness me. It's difficult, isn't it? Geologist bundle. Oh, okay. Quartz earth crystal crystal crystal. Earth crystal. <laughs> Do you like a good earth crystal? Right, what else was it? Sorry, 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 sorry. My memory's very bad. Quartz, earth crystal, frozen tier fire quartz. Earth crystal, that. And... Uh, we go to the mines. Yes. Okay. Um, what I will say is, in the chat, if we could chill it on the talking about extremely stressful life-threatening situations because it's kind of at odds with the whole stardew vibe that i'm trying to go for <laughs> i love the fact that you guys are willing to share stuff like that but equally yeah might be a smidge heavy for the tone of the tone of everything <laughs> all right let's go put these in the community center shall we you're doing a half jingle out just in case you don't come back. Okay. Well, half goodbye then. <laughs> a little a little temporary goodbye. It's never fully goodbye. Uh, right. I need a gold bar for that one. No, the adventurous bundle. Wonderful. You tried to make yours funny. I am reading them. I just sort of stopped reading them out loud after a little bit, I'm afraid, peeps. But um, I am still reading them for me. <laughs> right, that is all of the stuff that I can... Oh, no, no, melon. I was about to say that's all the stuff that I can put in. Boop. Brewer's bundle? No. No, no, no. Quality crops. Oh, I need five of them. I need five of them. <laughs> Oh, that's so painful. Okay. I don't have enough time to grow more melons now, so that's a next year's problem. <laughs> um, There must be a mushroom one somewhere, though. Something, something mushrooms. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's like a dye bundle or something. It must be. Oop. Foragers? No. Oh, there was one for berry seasons. <laughs> okay, we can still do this one, though. I just have to harvest a load of blackberries and wild plums. 
I don't know how I'm going to harvest 20 wild plums. Maybe through making the seeds. But we'll work it out. Fodder bundle, no. This, no. Chef, no. Die. I knew it. I knew it was the die bundle. <sighs> Dreaded die bundle. Okay. What I would do is go to the mines. Oh, do I want to go to the mines? Is there even any point? Should I just fish? Let's fish. Mm -hmm. No mines. <laughs> I'm so torn. I just don't know what's best to do. So in the mines, there's a few things that obviously we need. We need to get down to the gold levels because we need a gold bar and we need fire quartz. So I could just go straight for that. But we do have a really shoddy pickaxe at the moment. And also my weapon isn't great. We could kill bugs. Bugs are more prominent on the copper levels. Uh, but if we kill enough of them, we could get a weapon that's not as bad as the mallet. Um, mines are remixed. So Sod's Law, even if I do go for the bug weapon, uh, it'll reset. I say it'll reset. The next chest that I open will be a weapon. So it'll be pointless. I think we just keep going down. I just make some gradual progress, get some stone, ideally kill a few soot sprites or whatever they're called, dust sprites, thingy, majiggies, um, that kind of progress. And also I'm pretty sure you need gold to make sprinklers and... I wouldn't be fully against having a nice array of sprinklers by autumn. Usually I try and do that by summer. That was not a priority for this series. I think that would have uh, put way too much pressure. Don't get me wrong, I could have done it. And, and someday, I kind of do want to do a Stardew Valley series where I do massively over plan everything. I'm sure some of your favorite creators do it as well where they like plan out every single aspect of the playthrough and and then they execute it flawlessly i would need like the to-do list or something and i would probably need to sit down with some of my moderators probably like vice and, and pappy and stuff <laughs> and really work out a route for whatever reason um at the moment it seems like probably more effort than it's worth or more effort than i could actually pull off if that makes sense i don't want to go through all this effort setting up plans and then for example me mess up and not be able to plant the strawberries on the day that i needed to or you know some other stupid mistake because <clears throat> i don't throw the entire series off whereas with this series obviously because the focus isn't on me doing like a perfectly high efficient uh well fought out run or whatever um it's only about me running <laughs> uh there's a lot less pressure so even if i am absent-minded and mess something up it like it doesn't matter which i prefer but still i'm a planner i do i do like to be a planning oh that's bad <laughs> sound like a very very gentle swear word oh bats <laughs> No, I don't want to fight you. Oh, there's so many of them. Fine, I'll fight you. But not because I want to, okay? I want to make that very clear. It slows me down so much. It's already slow mining in here. Get out my face. Ooh, I do want those though. Put up with you for a second longer, Bats. Get me the stone. Stone, please. Stone me. There we go. Boosh, boosh, run! Yes, free items. Maybe if I'm lucky, some free coal. Free snackies. Free, I don't really care for the water retaining soil. More snackies, I do like snackies. Okay. Not great, better than nothing. That is for show. Sure. Let's go back down the stairs. No, I got stuck because I was looking at chat. <laughs> I do this all the time. How many steps have I used? How close are we to... Okay, I've got over a, th a thousand steps left. Over a thousand steps left. Do we think I can make it down another level? Probably not if I'm... I say another level. Another five levels to the next checkpoint. Probably not if I'm just breaking all these rocks. And also, I have a... I don't know for sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion in the back of my brain that between now and the next checkpoint, there is a spiral floor. I've just got that feeling. 
because I have done this before. You wake up at 8 a.m. after going to bed at midnight. So you're kind of tired, but it's spring break. So you're having a chill day for the first day of spring break. Yeah. Treat treat yourself. Treat yourself to, to chill times. I don't think I'm going to find any stairs. No, nope, I'm just going to go. <laughs> I'm done here. We'll, we'll, we'll handle this another time. Yeah. The way that my partner Ev handles his work week is he works four very long days in a row and then gives himself a day to just completely crash grapes <laughs> and then he gives himself a day to completely crash and it really does work works very very nice okay the possums are out and about scurrying around i'm grabbing grapes vincent likes grapes i know that much Although we're not making friends with Vincent this time. Not that I usually do. I'm usually really bad at making friends with anybody, but it's rich side characters only. Oh no. No wilderness thing. Stay away from me. Okay, now we can put all of the stuff away. I will sort these chests. I've said that for like the last 12 streams. <laughs> I still don't know when to tell you that it will actually happen. Right, that melon, melon needs to go in storage. I do want to sell these flowers as well because I think they hold more value to me as money than they do as gifts. Get away from me. Okay. Sweet. Boop. Level three combat. Woo. What are we on farming wise? Oh, I'm having a big stretch. Make sure you have a stretch and a drink of water, because why not? Nomma, 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 nomma. Ooh, because I'm going to need to level up my farming skill if we want kegs. I believe it's farming. Uh, That's not what I want. Skills. Farming is level six it must be level seven or level eight you that you get kegs then i don't like the fact that it's blue on blue background <laughs> that seems a little bit hard to read oh anton is dateable too i i can't keep track of who is dateable or not in ridgeside it's a monday we have six thousand gold i forgot yesterday to go and see suki and see if she had any eggs that is sad but expected <laughs> um could go and do some quests today but they're all for vanilla characters which is boring maybe i should do some quests for the rich side characters maybe that's something that i could start doing look at all the coffee it's not being made into drinks yet but it will be um which is exciting and i did go and put down all those tree tappers so we'll have we'll have a nice a nice batch of oak resin in however long it takes for tree tappers to do their thing. <laughs> I should know that. There's lots of things in Stardew Valley that really I should know. And I think at some point I did know, but then I forgot. For whatever reason. <laughs> My brain is like a sieve. Whoop. I'll tell you what though, this well... I mentioned it previously. Oh, you've got to go to Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you very much for swinging by. It was nice to see you. It's been a while. Um, what was I saying? When I have been scripting these, I've literally scripted all the way up until the point we got the well. And it's so painful. <laughs> it's so painful watching me have to run all the way to the river and back every single time I need water. So very glad we got that well. Probably the best thousand gold I've ever spent in this game. Was it a thousand or was it seven fifty? It was. It was something. Hello, P. I give you some water. How are you? Would you like to come with me today? I don't really know what we're doing, but we'll do something. For now, let's put these in here. We'll sell the chili peppers. Oh, what do I want to do? What? do i want to do i could go fishing i could try and work on the community center i need to make friends with the villagers irene let's take an apple to irene um and then everybody else can have water i say everybody i should find other things to give to them really shouldn't i limpy 
But yeah, let's get some gift giving out the way and see if I can stumble into some cutscenes. Because I haven't had many cutscenes in Ridgeside so far. Um, and the ones that I have had, they've been kind of boring. So I'm thinking we've got to go out of our way to find find the fun ones. Gracias, is it for me? It is, it is hydration. Hey, hey, uh, I don't know how to say that word. You mustn't let, let your sweat, sweat drip like that. You must put a towel on your back. I literally don't walk anywhere. Look at you. Look at your walking privilege. You're walking everywhere right now. Me? I have to run. Have you ever seen me doing anything other than running? No, because you walk everywhere and I don't. Sorry, I, uh, I had to get that out of my system. <laughs> I'm not very good at comebacks, as you probably noticed. The pressure gets to me and uh, I crumble. <laughs> Onward. Okay. Cutscenes, cutscenes. This is Kenneth's house. Let's stick my head into Kenneth's house. Maybe... Nope, no cutscene here, but here we go. This is part of the reason why I'm not too interested in pursuing a relationship with Kenneth. It, uh... I mean, when there isn't a TV by the sofas, but there is by the uh, extremely intense gadget area, it says something about the kind of work-life balance that a guy has. <laughs> Oh dear. It's fine. We'll, we'll find people. Ooh. Ooh. Kayahi. I've only just learned how to say your name, but... What you doing? You hop around a lot. This child cannot sit still. Hey, you doodle. Nice seeing you. What you doing today? Just visiting? Uh, I'm hi the hydration fairy. I don't know if you've heard of me. Oh, that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, by the way, my dad bought some of your produce the other day. It was delish. Great job, Mrs. Farmer. Dad said that it wouldn't be a great dish without your produce. Um, I grow a very small amount of produce, so... You deserve that pat on the back. You did great. I'm sure you're really busy, so I'll stop bothering you now, Doodle. Is this definitely a child? Because this entire conversation sounds like... I was talking to... Like, a cashier. <laughs> Or like, do you know what I mean? It's it's a local supermarket conversation. <laughs> it didn't sound like something that would come from a child. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, you doodle. What are you doing all the way out here at our farm? Oh, you're visiting Big Sis Alyssa, are you? I was visiting whoever uh, that I came across and needed water. Just kidding. Anyway, wait a sec. I have to tend to old Blobbert here. Why do I feel like I've seen this cutscene before? But this is the first time I played Richside, so I can't have done. Oh, Blobbert, he's this little plant here. Hmm, when would I have seen this before? And here you go, your daily sprinkle of water, my good sir. Would you know which one's Blobbert? If I switch them, would you... Really, Doodle, coming from a farmer, that means a lot. Okay. I guess Trini is just real connected to the plants. I... I'm not connected to the plants. If I was, it would break my heart when I accidentally smash one with my pickaxe. Here you go, Doodle. <laughs> okay. Still, though, it's cute. I'm really sorry I keep calling you Trish, by the way. I know that you specifically told me when we first met that it's Trini and not anything else. Uh, my brain is all over the place, so um, I'll try and call you Trini from now on. But it's not weird that you talk to plants. I talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're projecting it onto something else right there we go there's a couple of cutscenes. we're on a roll everybody we're on a roll let me zoom out so i can see the the people that need the water that need the hydration they're probably all over the place though but the main person that i need to go and see is my my future love hopefully uh irene who i've been told likes apples I don't know how much she likes apples, but let's hope it's a lot because she doesn't really like me much right now. Now the question is, can I find her? Let me zoom all the way out because this house is absolutely massive and steps be a thing that I'm worried about. Also, I'm starving to death. No, do not eat that hot pepper. <laughs> food and water, people. Food and water. Goodness gracious me. It's like I'm constantly eating. And that's after I turned down the rates as well. 
not doing a fantastic job on the whole keeping myself fed and uh, thing. <laughs> okay, onward. Where's she at? She's in the kitchen. Right, her portrait is going to be broken, but don't you worry about that. Don't worry about that one bit. Um, it's just because she's wearing a different outfit. Take this. How delightful. I really love this. Thank you. Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. Um, what's that smell? Get out of my kitchen before you infect the other dishes. Okay, well, I did just give you an apple and you really enjoyed it. And I'm going to give your employer a flower. And that makes her happy too. So I don't think you should shout at me. What's that smell? Okay, they're all judging me. <laughs> Everyone's been talking about my smell today. Who was it? Was it Carmen who said that I stink as well? And now Irene has said that I smell and I can't even remember her name. Morph? No, that's the mum. The um the daughter of this house says that I smell. Maybe I should just go jump in the river or something. <laughs> Although that being said, now that we're outside. I can give some gifts and then maybe go and find the characters that sort of live up to the north. Like the apple. The apple dude. Oh no, it's a kiwi, isn't it? It's a kiwi dude. There we go. I'll speak to you guys too. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Hello. Doodle, you're really smelly. What is going on? Do I actually stink today? Why is literally everybody... Can you take a shower before socialising? I'm... Why is every single person telling me that I stink? <laughs> okay, we're stopping everything that I'm doing and I'm going to the spa. I don't think it's actually going to help the character's perception of me being stinky, but I'm sick and tired of this. I have full energy and we're going to the spa for story reasons, okay? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder, what about you? Surely not, Fleur. Surely not. I like this, thank you. Okay, and what do you have to say about me? Okay, I'm, I'm going to take a bath. What about you, right? Surely, surely not you as well. This is a nice gift, Doodle, thank you. And? Right, um, did you step inside? I definitely stink. Right, we're going for a bath. This is not a mod that I downloaded. This is just everybody has unanimously decided that I'm the worst smelling thing in the world. So we're going to um, fumigate. Is that what they call it? I'm going to go destroy the bath area. Because <laughs> if every single person in an entire village, you're coming with me, by the way. I need moral support. I'm sorry if the stink of me makes your nose fall off, Limpy, but um, I need company and emotional support right now. <laughs> We're going for a bath. Because I've been told to. Although, I do only have 600 steps left, I just noticed. So, it's going to be the kind of bath where you stand very still. Which is most of them, to be fair. Right, this is the first time I've been to the... <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> this is the first time I've been to the baths in this series. <laughs> and then when I said that out loud, I was like, oh, uh, maybe that's why I stink. I don't think that's a thing though. Like really, I should just... Oh, I can't turn on the showers. Into the baths it is. Oh, just realized my swimming suit matches my hair color. That's very swish. Okay, please don't turn the entire baths area into a toxic swamp. Let's just stay in here for just a little bit. We'll, we'll just... Maybe an hour. I feel like if I if I go back up to Ridgeside and they still say that I stink after I've spent an entire hour sitting in the bath, then it's their problem and not mine. Right? Right? I feel like that's fair. Let me zoom out so we can see the whole room. Oh, there's a bigger area down here. I forgot about this. This is from like the penny cutscene, isn't it? I, I, the only time I've ever been down here is for the penny cutscene. I won't spoil the rest of that in case people haven't seen it, but it's here. <laughs> and I can get out and run around the edge and stuff. Right. Let's head back. I feel like I've spent a long enough time in the bath now. 
if the rich side characters still say that I'm stinky, um, it's it's themselves that they're smelling. It's the entire town that's the problem, not me, obviously. <laughs> it shouldn't hurt my feelings, but it does. I think it's because my least favorite character in Sardew Valley is Haley. Most people know this. They know that I really dislike Haley. She's just, every single comment is just something smarmy and underhanded and not nice. And the reason why I think this is getting me so much is every single person in the village, their dialogue lines at the moment sound like Haley. <laughs> it's like Ridgeside Village is just entirely full of Haley's. But who knows, you know, I'm nice and clean. I did put on my stinky clothes again. That might cause problems, but um, I, I don't have any way to change them right now because I haven't got cloth yet, but I, I, I can change my clothes in the future. I'd rather change my hat though. Maybe I should just change my hat. <laughs> you think I stink? Here's a new hat. Do I still stink? <laughs> They're like, yes, of course you still stink. But I changed my clothes. Singular, I changed my clothes. Right, we're going to Pika's, and if anybody says I stink, we're gonna yell at them that I just had a bath at the spa and so they can't say anything to me. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, I run so slowly, the sooner I can get those, those kegs, those coffees rolling. Right, you two are getting some water. Water for you, water for you. And now, if I speak to you, whoa not to be rude but uh you kind of stink like a lot uh well maybe it's you that stink because i just had a bath at the bath place in in stargy valley and um i was in there for a whole hour so i think it's a you problem there we go i'm just gonna be um i'm just gonna be the problem in this town now go on tell me how i stink why is it specifically today is there one day that's program is it because i'm holding something no i'm not holding anything weird Come back. I need to give you stuff. Maybe I should just not talk to people today. Wow, cousin, you are rank. Someone kick you into a bog. Um, It's called the bathhouse, actually. I went and had a bath at the bathhouse. <laughs> right, I'm just going to stop talking to people. I'm going to give them gifts and not talk to them today because I don't think that my soul can take any more. I think, I think I'll just crumble. <sighs> we'll talk to them tomorrow. Do I have enough steps to get home? Boop. Boop. No, I don't think you understand. I need enough steps to get home and you're wasting my steps. Okay, I've given everybody a gift that I can. I have 200 steps to get home. That should be fine. 200 steps, is that too few? I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I have the step counter and step limit. <laughs> it makes it so dangerous. <sighs> oh, they're all here. Boop. And nope. Boop. Yuma. Give it to Yuma. Give, give the water to Yuma. <laughs> Yuma needs the water. <laughs> there we go. What's that supernatural smell? I'm going home. I'm done. I can't take any more. Hello, Arrow. I've just spent an entire day in Stardew Valley being told that I stink and that me being around makes people feel sick. And I even went out of my way to go to the bathhouse. Even though my energy bar was full, I just thought maybe going to the bathhouse would make me stink less. And, um, nope. They, they still all think I'm stinky. Right, we've made it to bed just in time. And by in time, I mean my steps are about to run out. So I don't actually have to sleep yet. Move, puppy! Oh my goodness, pup. I'm gonna lose it with you. There we go. Ooh, we do have six jam, so we can sell some stuff. I think, yeah, I can make it to my, my shipping bin and back in, in less than 90 steps. That'll be just fine. Wonderful stuff. Oh, get back in. Okay, and now sleep. Schleppendy weapon. Ooh, Ev is on his way home early. Probably be home 9, 9, 9.15. I will probably be done streaming by then because I know it's just a little baby stream, but I think this day that we're going into now, the 23rd, 
um, is going to be the last day that I'm playing for this stream. As I said before, I wasn't going to stream today. It was kind of a last minute thing. Right, I need to add steps. So, steps proof. This is the previous one. Let me just change it over. We are up to my 20th run. This is the 20th run that I completed. Let's copy it. Um, 2.03 kilometers I ran this time. Uh, that's 2,371 steps being added. So we do the whole... <laughs> Wonderful stuff. And then the steps, boop, that's 49,164 steps is our new upper limit for stepage. You feel a bit better, still a bit lightheaded, but you did do some tidying away and the routine seems to have helped. I reckon it might have been something to do with the two conflicting audios. Yes. Um, overstimulation, I believe they call it. Overstimulation of, of the brain. Right. I want to go and give Irene another apple and we're also going to... Oh, I'm actually like straight up out of water. Okay. We'll give Irene an apple and I'll bring like some spice berries and stuff and see if anybody is willing to accept gifts from me. Maybe some grapes. That wouldn't be too bad. What else can I give out? Not much by the looks of it. Okay. Um, take some of these some of these there we go we'll see whether any of the villagers want this but mostly the main reason why i'm going up there oh and some flowers the main reason i'm going up there is to see whether they still say that i stink because i don't really understand what happened there i definitely added more steps than i yes i'm not going crazy i mean i am going crazy but we'll get the blueberries that's plenty of gifts that we can give out i'm sure the villagers will like some of them water our crops we'll head up there and if they still say that I stink, I might need to look at the configuration files because maybe something's gone wrong. <laughs> I can't imagine. Hang on. Let me just let me just briefly hang on. Ridge side villagers say I stink. Uh <sighs> oh. Oh, it was Keahi. Do you guys remember that, um, the cutscene I heard when I entered the town where Keahi was like, oh, we ate that that produce. My dad used your produce in, in, my, in dinner last night and it was really good. And I said that the whole conversation was like the conversation you'd have with an adult at a supermarket that you've just run into. Um, he put something stinky on my back. Or at least that's the hypothesis that the people have drawn online. Okay. So it's not me just being crazy. And actually, to be fair, because I went into the, the baths and then I just put my jumper on from before, uh, it would make sense that I still sink if he, if he stuck something to my back. Right, that kid is on is on the danger list. Which, which essentially just means sometimes I won't give him a glass of water because that's about the most savage thing that I can do. Have either of you grown up yet? You haven't. You're still little. <gasps> you have? You're a big chicken. That means we can put something in the... um. Yes, there's two. Eggos. Oh my gosh, I'm shouting. My poor neighbours. They'd be like... Oh. Oh. Always shouting about Eggos. Anyway. This is great. Oh, let's go give out some gifts. I shouldn't stink today. No one's going to be complaining at me. Limpy, you're a good girl, but I'm going to leave you here because it's rich side time. Where's that kid? I wonder if I talk to him today, if it'll, if he'll admit what he's done. I highly doubt it. Also, I'm starving to death again. What is this? Wait, wasn't my water full just a second ago? And all of a sudden it's back to empty. Mm, not sure about this. <laughs> Let's eat some berries and hope that my game isn't breaking. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, Trini. How do I do this again? You like roses. Roses. Come back. 
Come back. Come back. Boosh. There we go. Kayahi had a tea party with me and Jazz. I hope he didn't stick anything stinky to your back. He kept getting mad when we called him Miss Kayahi, but only princesses can go to tea parties. Duh. Ah. Uh, isn't true, but honestly, he deserves to be made uh, a little bit uncomfortable right now. <laughs> not not so much that it's con considered cruel to children, but I just want him to be tormented just a, just a smidge, innocently, you know? Wait, is this because I pranked him before? Is this because... Because there was a previous cutscene where me and Blair jumped at... Well, Blair, and I happened to be there, uh, jumped out of a... I just ate a rose. Jumped out of a bush and, um, scared Keahi. And, um, I think maybe that was payback for that. Check you out. You wear that outfit well, doodle. I bet you could wear anything and look like a model. Here we go. This is the kind of rich side village that I like. You guys were all out of sorts yesterday because I stank, but Robin's a kind boss. She lets me take a break pretty regularly. Even still, most of my breaks are spent doing work for Pierre. Right, well, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> the village is back to how it was. Either talking about themselves or giving me nice compliments. <laughs> Oh, what a relief. Let's go and go and find Irene and apologise for yesterday. Because she was one of the first people I spoke to after the whole Kayahi incident, I was uh, a little bit brutal. But um, I'm sure I'll make that up by, by giving Tasty Apple. Tasty, tasty apple. <laughs> She'll forgive me. Maybe. Uh, right, you two are here. Let's give you two these. How quaint. Your generosity will be rewarded by the spirits. Very different opinions there, but if you want to give, if you want Sonny to dislike you, give him kale. He hates it with a passion. I learned that on the hard way. Got it. Farming must be very demanding. Don't overwork yourself. Everyone's nicer today. Ooh, that's Leah's work, isn't it? I would know that. Notice that anywhere. You like flowers? A passable gift. Okay. You tolerate flowers. Take a bath before approaching me, farmer. You smell terrible. <sighs> Look, you know what? Usually you're the only person in the town that says that. From from the whole situation yesterday, I've kind of grown a grown a backbone towards those kind of comments, I will admit. You like apples and I like you. How delightful. Do you have any idea who made a mess in my kitchen? No, but that's nicer than what you said to me yesterday. So let me bring my quartz into my inventory and give you some. It's a decent gift, thank you. Oh, you're nicer today. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, you have a great day too. You know what? I'm liking you more and more. What was your name? Arya or Aya? One of them. Wonderful. The town is back to how it should be. I couldn't be happier. So let's give out a few more gifts. Uh, I keep panicking that I haven't added steps, but I obviously have. Right. There's a couple people down here. There are some people up by Pika's already. Who are you? Oh, you're Blair's mum. Got it. They're all living on the farm together. Let's pop my head into some buildings because there is a chance I can trigger some cutscenes. If I do that, let's go over the bridge here. I'm essentially thinking like if I stick my nose into some buildings I haven't been in before. Hang on. Can I go into the house from here? Oh, yes, I can. Yes, I knew it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maddie, that's it. That old man hasn't cleaned his keyboard yet. Oh, he has to stop eating at his desk. You can get keyboard covers, you know. It's essentially like plastic that just slots over your keyboard. Anyway. Uh, uh, Doodle, what are you doing here? Do you have any business at the facility? Uh, I was going to see if you wanted any of the random tat I've got in my inventory. Just visiting. Oh, then don't waste my time. I don't have time to talk. Are you then going to talk to me for five minutes or does the cutscene end here? Maddie is giving you a look. Okay, no, so it's not going to end here. <laughs> Excuse me, you're in my way. Oh, yeah, there's nothing I hate more than when people do that. Oh, no, you wanted to get to... Wait, where do you want to get to? Are you trying to... Maddie's looking at the notes on the table. She seems really busy. She seems busy, but... <laughs> you know... You always look kind of miserable. That's the kind of thing that people would probably say to me. I have a very uh, resting face. What's wrong? 
wrong nothing's wrong if anything you're what's wrong in this context yeah i'll admit if i was trying to work and somebody was doing what i'm doing in this situation i would lose my rag at them you're still here but you're making tea mm -hmm, nommy tea i might make tea after the stream doodle why are you still here um lack of brain cells and things to do do you want something i want brain cells <laughs> I can't make you leave, I guess. Hmm, maybe I should have just gone. Just don't touch anything. I definitely should have left. She's just getting increasingly annoyed at this point. And that's it. That's the whole cutscene. So essentially the cutscene was about the choice of whether I leave or not. Have, you know what? You can have a rose. Hmm, not bad. Thank you. You are very pretty when you smile. I didn't realise quite how quiet the lab gets when Mr. Aguard's not here. I don't mind your company. That's all I'm saying. Don't get carried away. Okay. Well, we've made progress with you. And I will try not to come here when you're working in the future, but no promises because... Yep. <laughs> right, there we go. There's a tasty cutscene. Uh, you are Trini's dad. Thanks for the gift, Doodle. I don't think I've ever really talked to you. I swear, once I find Trini and Keahi, what's happened? They put a fish taco on my favourite chair and now my plants look like a slime bit me. <laughs> No, now that's a really good prank, though. Why would you not look at your chair and just let yourself sit on the taco is what I want to know. Oh, here we go. Me giving him that gift apparently triggered something. Are we going to find out more about the taco? I would love that. I really would. What is up, my dude? Oh, boy, this doesn't sound good at all. Go on. Oh, do go on. Hey, doodle, do you have a moment? Any chance you could lend me a hand or two? I would rather you just came straight out and said it. Should I help? Yes, I'll help. Hurry up. Thanks a lot, Doodle. You're the best. That's okay. I just don't have much free time. And by that, I mean attention span. I don't have much attention span. You hold on to this do here, hickey. Do <laughs> while I reach inside. Do here, hillim, nim, 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 hickey. Okay. Is this safe? Okay. Hold on tight now. You're not going to rip my arm off or anything, are you? This is like... Safe. Uh, that didn't sound safe. As long as it's not me that's making those sounds, though, I'm perfectly fine with that. As long as it's only the machinery. This is the kind of conversation I like, the, the silent kind. <laughs> Should have brought my AirPods with me. <laughs> sounds sweet as a lullaby. Good work, Doodle. Okay, no problems. Is that the entire cutscene? Are we done here? Did I help you? Your friendship's gone up? Couldn't have done it without you. Say, are you up for grabbing a beer or something? We deserve one after a hard day's work, huh? I think it's still the morning. Is that okay? Go grab one of those lawn chairs over yonder. I'll head on inside and get our drinks. Okay. What's the saying? It's it's 5 p.m. somewhere or something like that. Bert's easy to talk to and pretty funny. He seems really nice. In that he's easy to talk to, do you mean he doesn't say anything? <laughs> It's not what easy to talk to means. Um, where is Alyssa's mama? Can I? You want to hug this tree, but you're afraid people will judge you. There's no one around. There's nobody around. Chat wouldn't judge you. Actually, I'll take that back. Right. Hello. You like grapes, do you? Oh, you love grapes. Thank you so much, Doodle. Did I just get you to five hearts? Alyssa is singing to herself. I. Uh, okay, I'm not going to sing that. <laughs> not whilst I'm still a bit ill. Yes, Alyssa is our first five-hearter, so we will probably get a cutscene for you later. And I'm assuming this is your uncle. Oh, no, your dad. No, wait, your uncle. No, your dad. I genuinely can't remember. Olga is just as stern as I remember. Okay, it's your dad. <laughs> Sorry, Alyssa. I'll remember your family maybe by the time you're at Ten Hearts. Wait, I can't get to 10 hearts unless I marry them, right? So it would be 8 hearts. The only human. <laughs> Nightboy is like, I would judge you too. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Oh, speaking of judgment. Are you okay, princess? My PC is uh, very stuttery today. Let's go in here and see if that triggers a... Yes, I knew it. She just teleported from outside to inside, but we don't need to worry about that. Right, hang on. Let me just clear my voice to do the old lady voice. 
Hello there, dear. Nice of you to visit. I have to ask you to keep the volume down. My husband is napping. But please, do stay for a while. It's nice to have someone to talk to whilst I knit. You, and I know this is extremely rude, aged a lot better than Evelyn did. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Doodle. I'm not as sociable as my husband. I'm not really one for small talk. That's okay. I had a great time with Bert earlier and he said like almost nothing. Well, thank you, Doodle. That's very gracious of you. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Nightbot going, ha, 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 nerd. <laughs> Did I read that right? Have you ever been to the mines, dear? How far down have you descended? I want to know how much trouble you'll have if I abandon you at level 80. I mean, ah, uh, just curious. <laughs> Did she just ask to go out the mines? Yeah, I am pretty deep in the mines. Oh, how exciting. Maybe level 120 would be a better place to leave you then. <laughs> Do tell, how many monsters have you slain down there? Do you specifically have trouble with mummies? <laughs> oh, I haven't been this intrigued for a while now. Okay. I'm concerned. That's quite a lot. That's well done, my dear. <laughs> a good start. I'll make sure to confiscate your sword when I leave you down there. <laughs> oh, nothing, dear. Please do be careful as you go down even further, okay? You wouldn't want to come across an old lady who's an expert adventurer and wants to see you die. <laughs> <laughs> Always watch your back, especially around me. <laughs> oh, how I miss those days. Dear, why don't you stay for a while and tell me about your adventures in the mines, including your weaknesses and, and the food you don't like? Oh, I'm so intrigued. This is the most fun I've had with a cutscene in a while. Lola and I talked about my adventures in the mines. I wonder why she's so interested. I probably told her too much. I'm sure it won't come back and bite me. Anyway, there we go. There's a there's a my my favorite cutscene so far. And you're out here with your hubby. You can have quartz and you apparently like these berries. How's the farm doodle holding up well? Don't overdo it whilst you're young or you'll regret it when you're my age. Okay. It was lovely chatting with you. Thank you for your time, dear. Okay, I slipped straight back into grandma voice then. Uh, why am I running this way? We have given out quite a few gifts. Considering it wasn't water this time. I know. Do I have nothing for you, Torts? You hate everything that I have. Why are you so difficult, Torts? I swear that Tortoise hates me. Like I know it in my soul. I can feel it. <laughs> oh goodness, I've got the hiccups. Thank you, Doodle. This is nice. It's okay. It's my last Stardew Valley day. I can fight the hiccups. I'm sure of it. Um, Everyone here likes quartz, but I'm going to have to leave somebody out. I'm going to leave um Ezekiel out, I'm afraid. Oh, you liked grapes too, Corrine? You should have told me that three seconds sooner. Bay yawns. Oh my, I look weird wherever I, whenever I yawn, don't I? Uh, I mean, if anyone's staring at you whilst you're yawning like that intensely, then. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. So many flavors. A true chef spends his life learning their delicate balance. I'm good at making pasta. I'm really good at making pasta. And I don't think it has anything to do with any of the things that you just said. It's in my genes. I'm good at making pasta. I'm talking lasagna. I'm talking about baked pasta. I'm talking about your carbonaras, your gnocchi, your tortellini. I like, I like, I like pasta, Ezekiel. Anyway, <laughs> that had no information or claim in there of me being a good chef. I just wanted to, you know, get that out of my system. <laughs> wow. I want fiber. I would I would like fiber. This is, seems like a great place to get fiber. This is where somebody tells me that I could have gotten all of the fiber with the use of a scythe. There, you don't want anything I've got. I've got some food I found on the ground. Oh, look, more food I found on the ground. You know what? If I pick this up, I might be able to give them out at Pika's. I'm sure somebody, somebody will, will collect this tat. Look at all the birdies. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, Ridgeside apples. 
I need as many as I can get because it is coming towards the end of summer and I don't know. Oh, you're up there. I don't know how else I'm going to get them. Right. How do I get up to you, huh? Huh? I remember Pappy told me. There we go. I see it. I see the way. Zoom back in without giving myself a headache. Hi, 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 hi. Do you... Can I speak to you? Can I run through you? I can. Stay near me or you will not survive on your own. Um, you, you don't want any gifts? Like at all? I just heard a cat absolutely scream at the top of its lungs outside. That was a little bit stressful. Okay, um, I'm sure there must be a way to make friends with him. He can't be a non-giftable NPC. I mean, he can be, but I'm pretty sure he's not a non-giftable NPC because otherwise he wouldn't have his, have had his own lengthy cutscene. But then... It... What is that noise? Is that the wind? I'm going to leave one headphone off for a sec. I'm hoping it was just a cat or something, but... Very quiet ambling, am ambient jingling. Charging up a jingle preemptively in case you have to make an emergency exit. Yeah, there's weird noises. <laughs> yes, Keahi. You like mushroom. Oh, and everyone likes this flower. Everyone's going to be fighting over it. Okay, I've got a couple of other flowers. We'll be fine. Um, You also like the apples. Oh, no, you love the apples. Why do you love the apples? Fine, I'll give you an apple. <gasps> awesome doodle this is awesome thanks yeah well do you remember when you stuck that thing on my back and it made me stinky do you remember probably not oop trini and jazz made me have a tea party with them the other day oh uh, yeah i've heard about it i don't care about the tea but they kept calling me miss kiahi uh i heard they were calling you princess actually but that's fine Flowers for you, and flowers for you, and do I have any more? Yes, I do. You can have flowers. <laughs> there we go. Really nice progress with the gifts in this episode. Stream or whatever you want. I'm afraid, Pappy, I'm wrapping up the stream very soon. <laughs> but don't worry about it. Um, By giving gifts to all of you guys? Yes. Wonderful. In that case... Let's head home. I've definitely got enough steps, don't I? That noise stopped, by the way. The second I took one of my earphones off, the noise completely disappeared. So who knows what that was about. Jingle charge activate. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, Arrow. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm uh, heading back now, Pappy. It was just a mini stream for today. I say a mini stream. We will have streamed for two hours. So it's not the shortest stream I've ever done. You like blueberries? You're the best. Nobody else in this entire town like blueberries, and I brought so many blueberries with me. <laughs> but yeah, um, you probably know what cutscene this is, Pappy. Kayahi stuck something on my back, and then I went around town, and the whole town was saying that I stink. And so I went to the baths and tried to wash it off, and it didn't work. Um, and I was upset about it. That's pretty much the main thing that you've missed. <laughs> But that's all fine. We've got all our tree tappers set up. We've got a chicken and a duck and an extra chicken egg incubating. We've made really good friends with the villagers to the point where Alyssa is at five parts and everybody else is doing pretty well. Irene is at three. I've given her two fancy apples. We have more. Yeah, this is going great so far. Even Freddy likes us one. Do we have any Ridgeside characters that we aren't friends with at all? These are all vanilla. Kiwi, Malaya, Malaya, Torts. That's it. Okay. Obviously, there might be more rich side characters that we unlock at some point that I have to make friends with. But so far, just having these three as rich side characters that I'm not friends with is pretty good going. And by friends with, I mean I don't have a heart with. Yeah. And then Freddy's got a heart. What about the um the ninja dude? There was a ninja dude that I, I couldn't even speak to. Is he not a giftable character? He's not anywhere in this. Okay. So that explains why I couldn't give him anything then. Alright, that's fine. I don't need to give everyone gifts. It's just nice sometimes. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to sell my leftover gifts. My leftover giftles. Boop. Boop. Uh, not selling that. We'll sell that. And I will sell uh, an egg. Wonderful. 
He unlocks his friendship later. Do you have to make friends with the kiwi or something? The little kiwi thing. Yay, Limpy! Right, let's go to bed. And then I will wrap up the stream. I will wrap up the stream, because... Oh, we're making regular money now, though, which is nice. I know that's going to change at, at the start of autumn when you have to wait for everything to grow. But we have chickens now and we have preserve jars. So even then, even in the, the quiet start of of this season, it should be fine. It's after the main quest line. I don't even think I've stumbled across the main quest line yet. Right. That is going to be it for my stream. If anybody is watching this in the VOD or in the chat, please do make sure you give the video a lick. It helps so much. Uh, I will be back next week with more Stardew Valley running. Um, and hopefully soon a Stardew Valley running video. Um, but yeah, that's it for me for now. I've been Doodle. You've been fantastic. Mm, bye, peeps.